Welcome, friends. I am Chimmy, the inquirer of plots, suspector of sequels, and more importantly, your host this evening. Tonight's Out of This World movie is The Green Slime, starring Robert Horton, which came out in 1968. When a meteorite is headed in a catastrophic collision course for Earth in 10 hours, Commander Rankin is called from retirement to lead a team to blow up the asteroid. He is sent to Gamma 3, where he is to acquire a team and materials to blow up the asteroid. Trying to put aside past rivals with his ex-girlfriend, Dr. Lisa Benson, who went with his best friend years ago. His ex-best friend is now Commander Elliot of Gamma 3 Space Station. They land and set explosives on the asteroid. But they discover what appears to be a green slime. The medical officer, Dr. Halverson, tries to bring back a sample to Gamma 3, but Commander Rankin denies his request. From the shattered glass, the green slime had attached itself on Dr. Halverson's spacesuit. With the detonation time moved up, they board the shuttle in only three minutes to outrun the blast. At full speed, they make it. They are welcomed back and praised for saving the Earth from what would have been a catastrophic collision. While their gear is in decontamination, the green slime morphs into a stronger form and has fatally electrocuted one of the crew members. Later, in one of the power lines, another crew member falls prey to this electrical terror. Possibly can to capture it. I think we ought to try to capture it. It's already killed two men, Vince. I say get rid of it. And as commander of this station, I say we ought to try. In a failed effort to trap the creature, more crew members are killed and the creature gets away. After analyzing the blood sample from the alien, Dr. Halverson has discovered that its cells duplicate at an alarming rate and that it feeds on energy and is able to discharge energy, which is how it electrocutes its victims. The creature appears from the electrical room and goes into the infirmary. In hopes to keep it from spreading, they trap it in one of the rooms where it begins to repair itself and its blood that is in another room quickly travels to a new destination, spawning more alien creatures which begins to run amok in the electrical room. So Commander Rankin cuts off all power in C-Block and sets lights to draw the creatures into a room to contain them. But they escape. Now the only thing that can be done is to trap them in one of the sections and open the airlock. Dr. But Dr. Halverson, defying orders, trying to save his research, is locked in with the alien creatures. Trying to save Dr. Halverson, Elliot and Lisa defy Rankin's orders and opens the door in vain. Halverson is dead, and now the alien creatures are released and blows out a section of Gamma 3. Now they are spreading all over Gamma 3, with help from the radiation from the sun. Rankin gives orders to evacuate Gamma 3, then to detonate it. But the escape hatch won't open because the creature's outside barricading the hatch. So Commander Elliot and a few other crew members go outside the space station and shoot the creatures. Between that and using solar panels to divert the alien creatures, some of the shuttles were able to make a getaway. The aliens are in the space station, and the station on Earth is unable to take control in order to detonate, so Rankin has to go in and manually set it for detonation. Elliot goes to help him, but dies when trying to exit Gamma 3. Pull in close, take them aboard. Gamma 3 explodes in Earth's atmosphere. It's ready, sir. This is Rankin reporting. 
As a result of action above and beyond the call of duty by Commander Vince Elliott, evacuation successful with minimum of casualties. Mission completed. All right, Lieutenant. Take her down. <laughs> So, if you're ever in space, be careful, or you might find yourself in a slimy situation.